Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to detail how the fat-soluble carotenoid antioxidant astaxanthin supports muscle vitality. A common concern as we age is the development of sarcopenia, which is the gradual loss of skeletal muscle mass and strength that can begin as early as our 40s. Oxidative stress is a major contributing factor behind the molecular and cellular changes that lead to muscle de degeneration. Astaxanthin's potent antioxidant activity can serve as a buffer against the development of sarcopenia, primarily by reducing oxidative stress and the degradation of existing muscle cells while promoting mitochondrial regeneration and blood vessel formation. Sarcopenia is distinguished by a progressive reduction in skeletal muscle mass and strength, which affects balance, mobility, and overall quality of life. Oxidative stress, inflammation, impairment of mitochondrial function, and the impairment of capillary regeneration, what we call capillary regression, can all contribute to the loss of skeletal muscle mass. The related increase of reactive oxygen species and the damage they impose on proteins and fat tissue are also a part of this. Regular use of astaxanthin is effective at halting capillary regression, which is known to happen in conditions like hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and sarcopenia, while also diminishing myeloperoxidase and creatine kinase, two enzymes that both contribute to muscular tissue damage and breakdown during inflammation. Astaxanthin also supports increased creation of new mitochondria, what we call mitochondrial biogenesis in skeletal muscle, along with improved cellular uptake of glucose, primarily by boosting something called PGC1-alpha. I've told you about PGC1-alpha before, specifically as it relates to how glutathione, our master detoxifying antioxidant, also supports muscle vitality. PGC1-alpha is a master regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis that controls genes involved in cellular energy metabolism. So high levels of PGC1-alpha always indicate improved mitochondrial function. Regular exercise improves the growth of capillaries, our smallest and most prevalent blood vessels, while conversely, a steady loss of muscle tissue, like that seen with sarcopenia, can lead to capillary regression. Our body's creation of new blood vessels from older, damaged ones is known as angiogenesis, and it involves an amazing array of factors that all steadily decrease with age and disuse. Astaxanthin, when used regularly, can avert this atrophy-driven decline in blood vessel production. Astaxanthin is already well known for increasing blood flow to the eyes, and this is also where you can see astaxanthin's effect on muscles, because astaxanthin supports natural relaxation of the eye's ciliary muscles, which allows for greater blood flow to the retinal capillaries, along with improved focus and visual acuity, while also relieving eye strain. As a supplement, you'll likely find astaxanthin in doses anywhere from 4 mg to as much as 12 mg, and like its carotenoid relatives lutein and lycopene, astaxanthin is also fat-soluble, so look for it ideally in a soft gel. And for those of you who regularly hit the gym, try taking some astaxanthin both before and after your workout. Our bones and muscles grow in direct response to mechanical stress imposed upon the body. So the best way to really make astaxanthin work is to keep challenging your muscles, and the best way to do that is to stay active every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.